In this video, I'll be reviewing step number three of the notarization process. Just a quick review. In step one, you review the document to determine the type of notarization you needed to perform, the number of signers, and whether or not you could legally and confidently notarize the signatures. In step two, you learned the two acceptable methods Alabama allows its notaries to verify the signer's identity. Now, if you missed any of those videos, make sure you go back and watch them later. You'll find them on this channel. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I hope you'll do it today. It only takes a few seconds to press subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started with step three, calculate the notary fee. The way that the notary fee gets calculated can differ state by state. That's why it's important for you to take state-specific notary training that is up to date so that you can make sure you were getting correct information about Alabama's notary fee. Take for instance, Texas. Texas notaries have a unique method of calculating their notary fee. I think it's $10 for the first notarial act and then $1 for each additional name that shows up in the notary certificate or it's something close to that. If you're a Texas notary watching this video, feel free to fact check me in the comments below. Tennessee notaries, well, if you're a Tennessee notary, you can charge the signer whatever you think is a reasonable fee. Now, how nice is that? But here in the state of Alabama, we notaries have been given strict instructions on how the notary fee is calculated. There is no room for guessing. The Alabama approved notary fee increased from $5 to $10 on September 1, 2023. Can anyone tell me when was the last time Alabama notaries saw a rate increase in their notary fee? If you know the answer, please let me know in the comments below. Now, just so you know, there are still some county probate offices that have not updated their websites to reflect the new $10 fee. But the Code of Alabama, the notary section, clearly states that the $10 notary fee applies to notaries in all counties. Charging someone a notary fee is optional. Let me repeat that. As a commissioned Alabama notary public, you are not required to charge the signer a fee. It's optional, not mandatory. You can notarize all day, all night, and never charge a fee. In fact, if I took a poll and asked all Alabama notaries, if they charge a fee, I'm willing to bet that one third of them would say no. You see, many notaries only notarize while at work as part of their job responsibilities, so they don't charge a fee. And some notaries have a public servant mindset, and they became a notary in order to serve those in their community, whether it's their church members, 
in their neighborhood, or just to help out others who needed their service. This is why I recommend that if you are going to charge a fee for your notary services, it is very important that you explain the notary fee to the signer before you complete the notarization so that there's no confusion whatsoever on the part of the signer. Charging a notary fee that exceeds $10 is now a Class C misdemeanor for notaries. Signers can file an official complaint with your county's probate office and request that an investigation be opened. If you work for the state of Alabama, if you work for the county or municipality, you are not allowed to charge a notary fee as part of your public service. Calculating the correct notary fee requires you to know what a notarial act is because in Alabama, notaries can charge $10 for each notarial act that we perform. Notice, I didn't say $10 per page. $10 per signature. I didn't say $10 per person. It is $10 per notarial act, N-O-T-A-R-I-A-L. So what's a notarial act? An act is one of the duties notaries are authorized to perform as outlined in the Code of Alabama, the notary section. The most common acts we perform as Alabama notaries are acknowledging signatures, administering oaths and affirmations, and performing copy certifications. Now, it's not limited to those three or four things, but those are the most common. It is the notary's responsibility to read the notary certificate and determine which act or action the document requires the notary to perform for each person involved in the transaction. Why? Because not all notarizations are alike. The notary act for a power of term power of attorney form may be different from the notarial act that is in a last will and testament. Most, but not all forms include an acknowledgement notary certificate. And if only one person needs to sign and have their signature acknowledged and notarized, the notary can charge $10. If the form requires two individuals to have their signatures acknowledged and notarized, the notary can charge a $20 notary fee. It is considered a best practice for notaries to record the notary fee that they charge in their notary journal. It is also considered a best practice for you to issue a receipt that itemizes the notary fee from any other fees you might charge the signer, especially those of you who are running a notary business. You'll need to speak with a CPA or a tax professional to find out if you are required to pay taxes on the notary fee. If you decide that you want to collect the fee now during step three, 
you can, but if you want to wait until the notarization is complete to collect the notary fee, that's fine too. It's my personal preference to wait until I've completed the notarization and that I am satisfied with the quality of my work to collect my notary fee. I know some of you may be wondering about the travel fee, a print fee, and other non-notary related services. I cover that and more information about fees in my training videos called Notary Basics, Training for Alabama Notaries. I also cover it, I believe I do, in Jumpstart your mobile notary business. If you aren't traveling, and let me back up, I believe it's, I only cover it in Notary Basics. If you aren't traveling to the customer to notarize their signature, you cannot charge them a travel fee. And if you have an office and customers are coming to you for the notarization, you can't charge them a convenience fee or administrative fee. There is nothing in the Code of Alabama stating that you can do this legally. You can find more information about Alabama's notary fee by reading the Code of Alabama, the notary section, sections 36-20-74. I hope you find this information helpful. And I know I haven't answered every single question you have about the notary fee, but remember, this video is just the basics. This should not be considered a substitute for your formal Alabama notary training. You should register for a course that contains up-to-date information specific to the state of Alabama, a course that gives you an opportunity to ask questions of the instructor and get answers. And there are a few classes out there that will do that for you. It's also a good opportunity for you to join a networking group like my Facebook group, it's free, Notaries for Alabama Hangout. That is where you can network with other Alabama notaries, ask questions, and see how other Alabama notaries are conducting their notarizations. I hope you'll join me for the next video Step four, verbal ceremonies. You don't want to miss it. And I want to thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.